This time on Screencast a week, we protect the formatting of your text on iOS using one of my favorite system add-ons, Clips. Hello again, people of the internet. This is Screencast a week, and I'm Kevin Yank. And this week, I've got my iPad here. In a previous episode, we looked at paste and match style on the Mac that let you copy and paste formatted text without screwing up the formatting of the document that you're pasting into. And I got a question from a viewer asking if they could do the same thing on their iPad. Let me show you the problem first. Here I've got Safari open on my iPad and I've got a web page with some text selected. So if I tap that and choose copy, now I'll go over to an email message. I've got a blank email message here. I'm going to try and paste that text in. And sometimes when you do that, you get something like this. The background image of the web page is there, but the text itself is not even formatting. The button is kind of half there. This is really not what we were going for. And uh, it's really hard to salvage this using just the formatting tools that are built into mail or pretty much any text editor on iPad. So how do we avoid making a mess like this? Well, unfortunately, iOS, at least as of the time that I'm recording this, which is iOS 8.3, does not yet have anything like the paste and match style feature that's built into every Mac. But there's a way around it, and it involves, like most things on iOS, an app. So let me first undo that change so I can get my blank email message back. And once I've done that, I'm going to exit mail and show you this new app called Clips. Clips is designed as kind of a clipboard manager for iOS. It lets you grab something that's on your clipboard and keep it for the future, even though the contents of your clipboard may change. So if I open Clips right now, you can see the text that's on my clipboard with the dotted line around it. And what Clips is mostly for is for pressing that plus button so that that content is now stored in Clips and I can build up a library of these stored snippets that I can then get onto my clipboard again later if I need them. But if you look at this row of buttons down along the bottom of the screen here, one of the things I can do with this content is copy the text of it. With that done, I can leave Clips, go back into Mail and paste the text only of that content in, and there you go. It's just like paste and match style on the Mac. You just have to go through clips. Now there's a much quicker way to do that if this seems like a bit of a hassle. Again, I'll undo that change to my message. And I'm gonna go into clips and delete that clip just so that we're back where we started. Now if I go into Safari and copy that formatted content again, then switch back to mail to paste it, this time, instead of going into Clips, I'm going to pull down the Notification Center, and you can see I'm on the Today View here. Your Today View probably has your calendar and reminders and things like that. Mine's pretty empty at the moment, but at the bottom of the view, you can tap this Edit button to view all of the widgets that the various apps on your iPad provide. You can see Clips is in the list there, so I'm going to tap it to add Clips to my Today View and tap Done. And now you can see that that thing that's on my clipboard is right here in my Today View. I can get at it really quickly just by swiping down from the top of the screen. If I wanted to keep this semi-permanently, I could tap the plus button, but instead I'm just going to tap the arrow here, tap Text, and now I've got the text version of that content on my clipboard. Swipe back up, paste into mail. So there you go. Besides being a really cool clipboard manager that lets you store multiple things from your clipboard in a handy place, Clips also provides the ability to strip the formatting off of text that you might have in your clipboard. And using that feature, you can get the same effect as paste and match style on your Mac. Believe it or not, Clips is absolutely free on the App Store. There's a pro upgrade that costs $2.50. It lets you store more than five clips in the app and sync those clips automatically between your iOS devices, like your iPad and your iPhone. I don't actually use those features, but I like the app so much that I went ahead and bought the upgrade anyway. If you ask me, having paste and match style on my iPad for $2.50, that's a steal. That's it for Screencast a Week this week. I'll be right back here next week with another Screencast a Week. In the meantime, head over to patreon.com slash screencast a week to check out all the old episodes, including that paste and match style episode for the Mac, and to find out how to support the show. I'd really appreciate it. Until next week, I'm Kevin Yank. Thanks for watching.